Welcome to our coding corner. Today we're tackling a question that many new developers encounter when working with promises in Node.js. Our viewer is curious about how to export a function from a separate module after a promise completes. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. Let's start by creating a separate module for our read function. This will help us keep our code organized and reusable. In this module, we'll use the node deer package to read files from a specified directory. We'll wrap this functionality in a promise to handle asynchronous operations. Now let's move to our main application file, app.js. Here, we will require the read module we just created. Next, we will handle the promise returned by our read function. We can use the dot then method to process the results once the promise is resolved. Finally, make sure to handle any errors that may occur during the file reading process. This will help you debug issues effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this example, we explore how to export a module after a promise completes using the async await approach with the promise MySchool module. First, in connection.js, we create a database connection function that returns a promise. This function is then exported for use in other files. Next, in app.js, we import the connection module and use the dbdev function to query the database. We handle any errors that may occur. Additionally, for the node dire module, which works synchronously, we can also export a function to read files from a directory. In the app.js for node deer, we call the files function and log the results, handling any potential errors. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.